Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Levon Aronian. This game was played in Bilbao, Spain in 2008. Magnus Carlsen, his white pieces, and he started with d4. Levon Aronian played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit declined. Slav defense, so semi-slav. Knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, e6, semi-slav defense. e3, knight from b to d7, bishop to d3, d takes on c4 and the bishop must move again. Bishop takes on c4. b5, bishop to d3, bishop to b7, but b4 was played anyway. Knight to e4, knight takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, pawn takes pawn on a3. How should white recapture instead of taking the pawn? Carlsen opted for a quick development. He castled king's side, knight to f6, bishop to d3, a takes on b2, bishop takes on b2, a5. We have reached this very, very interesting position. Black is a pawn up, white is ahead in development. Chess experts have given this position to engines, and the move chosen by Carlsen is not in first 10 choices of any engine. Anyway, what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Are you ready to see the move? Carlsen played d5, sacrificing the second pawn. This was not to engines liking. Black to move. Aronian considered. C takes on d5, e takes on d5, queen takes on d5, knight takes on d5. Lots of thinking. Knight takes on d5 was played. Perhaps c takes on d5 would be the worst capture because of bishop to b5 check. If e takes on d5, then knight to d4 intending knight to f5 and queen to a4. Back to our game. After d5, Aronian recaptured with the knight. The point of this pawn sacrifice was to clear the long diagonal of the bishop. Knight to e5, knight to f6, queen to a4, pressure is on the pawn on c6, bishop to b4, Knight takes on c6, bishop takes on c6, queen to d7 doesn't work because of bishop to b5. So we have bishop takes on c6, queen takes on c6, check, king to e7, if queen to d7, queen takes rook. So we have king to e7, rook from f to d1 lining the rook with the black queen, attacking white queen with rook to c8, queen to f3, queen to b6, the queen was not happy on d file, but now bishop to d4, not giving black time to bring the rook from the h8 in the game, queen to b8, bishop to a6, attacking the rook, rook from c to d8, bishop to b7, h5, intending knight to g4, h3, rook from a to b1 is also working, h3 was played, h4, let's take it back. The move suggested by engines in this position was e5, Aronian considered, but for a human this looks very, very risky. Let's see what happens if e5, then one line goes like this, perhaps the strongest line, bishop to b6, rook to d6, bishop takes on a5, rook takes on d1, check, queen takes on d1, queen takes on b7, rook to b1, knight to d5, e4, rook to a8, 
Queen takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. Bishop takes on b4 check. Queen to d6. Bishop takes on d6 check. King takes on d6. And it is equal. Well, this is the engine variation. For humans, it is not so easy to calculate so deep to see that e5 is a good move because it is always easy to miss something in the calculations. Back to our game. In this position we have h4, rook from a to b1, lining the rook with the black queen. And now after some very hard thinking, e5. This is another critical position of the game. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? If bishop moves, let's say bishop goes to b2, then rook takes on d1, check, and after rook takes rook, rook to d8, and black is ok. Back to our game. In this critical position, Carlsen found the best move, and that is the exchange sacrifice. Rook takes on b4. A takes on b4, and now bishop to c5 check. Black to move. Should black play king to e8 or king to e6? Aronian played king to e6. If king goes to e8, then black gets in big trouble. One line goes like this. Bishop to c6 check. Knight to d7. Queen to f5. Defending the knight. Queen to g5 threatening checkmate. And if f6, then queen to g6 checkmate. Back to our game. After check, we have king to e6. Rook to a1, intending rook to a6 check. Rook to d6. Bishop takes on d6. King takes on d6. Saving the queen. Queen to c6 check. King to e7. Rook to a8. Black is lost. Queen to d6 was played. Queen takes queen. King takes queen. But now rook takes rook. And white is a piece up. b3. Can this pawn reach b1 square? How should white continue? Carlsen played bishop to a6, knight to d7. If the pawn goes to b2, then bishop to d3 is stopping the promotion. Knight to d7, rook takes on h4, knight to c5 attacking the bishop, and at the same time, Aronian resigned. One possible continuation is bishop to c4, and if, say, b2, then bishop to a2, after, say, blocking the rook from coming to b4, rook can go to h8 or h7, and this is easily winning white. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.